Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel where we unravel the mysteries of science. Today we're venturing on a journey into the heart of one of mankind's most potent and terrifying creations, the hydrogen bomb. This is a world of immense power and destruction, a world where tiny particles hold the key to unimaginable energy. But before we embark, it's important to note that our exploration is purely educational. We're here to understand the science behind these formidable weapons, not to endorse or encourage their use. So, with our safety goggles firmly in place and our curiosity peaked, it's time to delve into the depths of nuclear physics. We'll be uncovering the secrets of nuclear fusion, the process that fuels these bombs, and revealing just why they're so much more devastating than their atomic cousins. Let's dive into the explosive world of thermonuclear weapons, commonly known as hydrogen bombs. At the heart of a hydrogen bomb is the process of nuclear fusion. Now if you're thinking, fusion, like joining together, then you're on the right track. Fusion, in the context of a hydrogen bomb, is all about combining light atomic nuclei. This is a stark contrast to nuclear fission, the process that powers atomic bombs, which involves splitting heavy atomic nuclei apart. So, how does this fusion process work? Well imagine a super-hot high-pressure environment where various atomic nuclei are flying around at incredibly high speeds. When these nuclei collide with enough force, they can overcome their natural repulsion and merge together, forming a larger nucleus. This is nuclear fusion. In a hydrogen bomb, the light atomic nuclei that combine are typically isotopes of hydrogen, specifically deuterium and tritium, and when I say super hot, I'm talking about temperatures of millions of degrees. Yes, you heard it right, millions of degrees. It's like creating a miniature star right here on Earth. Now you might be wondering, how on Earth do we reach such extreme temperatures? Well, that's where the initial atomic bomb comes into play. The intense heat and pressure generated by the detonation of an atomic bomb can create the extreme conditions necessary for nuclear fusion to occur. This atomic bomb, or fission bomb, acts as a trigger, setting off the fusion reaction in the second stage of the hydrogen bomb. It's like lighting the fuse to a much larger, much more explosive firework. To put it simply, the fusion process at the core of a hydrogen bomb is a chain reaction ignited by the explosion of a fission bomb, leading to the release of an enormous amount of energy. This initial explosion is what triggers the fusion reaction in a hydrogen bomb, kicking off a process that results in one of the most powerful explosions known to humanity. The design of a hydrogen bomb involves two stages. The first stage, known as the primary stage, is essentially a fission bomb, much like the ones used during the Second World War. This stage is crucial, for it serves as the spark that ignites the entire process. Inside this fission bomb, heavy atomic nuclei are split apart, releasing a significant amount of energy. However, it's the second stage that truly sets a hydrogen bomb apart from its atomic counterpart. The second stage, or the secondary stage, is where the real magic happens. This is where we introduce the fusion fuel. In a nutshell, fusion fuel is made up of light atomic nuclei. The most commonly used fuels are isotopes of hydrogen, namely deuterium and tritium. These isotopes have extra neutrons in their nuclei, making them ideal candidates for fusion. But why hydrogen, you might ask? Well, hydrogen is the lightest and most abundant element in the universe. Its isotopes, deuterium and tritium, are relatively easy to fuse, and the fusion process releases an enormous amount of energy. Now, fusion doesn't just happen under any circumstances. It requires extremely high temperatures and pressure, conditions that are hard to achieve. But remember the fission bomb we mentioned earlier? The explosion from that first stage generates the conditions necessary for fusion. The enormous heat and pressure from the fission explosion cause the deuterium and tritium nuclei to collide and fuse, forming helium and releasing even more energy in the process. This energy release isn't just double or triple that of a fission bomb, it's many many times greater. That's because the fusion process converts a small amount of mass into a large amount of energy, as per Einstein's famous equation, E plus mc2. The second stage is where the fusion fuel, typically isotopes of hydrogen like deuterium and tritium, comes into play. This combination of fission and fusion, of splitting and combining atomic nuclei, is what gives a hydrogen bomb its immense destructive power. When the fission bomb detonates, it generates immense heat. This is the spark that ignites the real power of a hydrogen bomb. The heat is so intense that it reaches temperatures in the millions of degrees, hot enough to rival the core of the sun. But why does this matter? To understand that, we need to delve a little deeper into the world of nuclear physics. The extreme heat generated by the fission explosion is crucial for the second stage of the hydrogen bomb, the fusion process. 
You see, fusion isn't something that happens readily under normal conditions. It requires both extreme pressure and extreme temperatures, the likes of which are not naturally found on Earth. But within the confines of a detonating hydrogen bomb, these conditions are met, and the fusion fuel, usually isotopes of hydrogen like deuterium and tritium, is coerced into combining. As these light atomic nuclei fuse together, they form heavier elements like helium. But here's the kicker. The mass of the helium produced is slightly less than the mass of the original hydrogen isotopes. So where does the missing mass go? It's not lost. Instead, it's converted into energy. This is where Einstein's famous equation E equal mc2 comes into play. In this equation, E represents energy, m is mass, and c is the speed of light, a very large number indeed. So, even a tiny bit of mass can be converted into a huge amount of energy. And in the case of a hydrogen bomb, we're talking about a truly colossal amount of energy. This conversion of mass into energy is the heart of the fusion process, and it's what gives a hydrogen bomb its devastating power. The missing mass from the fusion process is transformed into an explosion that outshines the initial fission bomb by orders of magnitude. This equation tells us that even a tiny amount of mass can be turned into a massive amount of energy. This is the terrifying reality of a hydrogen bomb, a testament to the immense power locked within the atoms that make up our universe. So there you have it, the workings of a hydrogen bomb. An intricate yet terrifyingly powerful device that employs the immense energy locked within the heart of the atom itself. Through our exploration today we've delved into the core of this formidable weapon, learning how it harnesses the power of nuclear fusion to unleash its destructive force. Let's take a moment to recap our journey. We began by unraveling the core of a hydrogen bomb where the process of nuclear fusion takes place. We discovered that unlike nuclear fission which powers atomic bombs by splitting heavy atomic nuclei, fusion combines light atomic nuclei under extreme conditions. This process is what gives the hydrogen bomb its immense power and destructive potential. We then embarked on a tour of the bomb's design, a two-stage process involving a fission bomb and fusion fuel. The fission bomb or the first stage is responsible for creating the intense heat necessary for the fusion reaction. The second stage is where the fusion fuel, typically isotopes of hydrogen like deuterium and tritium, becomes crucial. The detonation of the fission bomb triggers the fusion reaction, resulting in the formation of helium and a staggering release of energy. This energy is the product of a small amount of mass being converted according to Einstein's famous equation, E pol mc2. This equation, which states that even a tiny amount of mass can be converted into a massive amount of energy, is the key to the terrifying power of a hydrogen bomb. In the end, the hydrogen bomb serves as a stark reminder of the immense and potentially destructive energy that lies within the atoms that make up our universe. It's a testament to the power of nuclear fusion and the profound implications this process has on our world. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more scientific explorations. Stay curious and we'll see you in the next video.